All right, and nobody blaming the weatherman. <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, I wish I could change it, I promise you, but as we look at uh, IU and Bloomington, you can see we're adding to that snow that's still on the ground from last weekend, yeah. and in many spots, I think we'll pick up about as much snow as we got last weekend. Wow. So, okay. uh, you know, after a drought of snow for much of the winter, we're really making we're up now, for it right. here. Yeah, yeah and uh, March coming in like a lion for sure. Here's a look at some of those snowfall totals that are in progress. Officially 1.6 inches in Indianapolis, about an inch and a half for us in Terre Haute. And as we look around Carmel and Castleton, a little over an inch, an inch for you in Winchester. Of course, those will be climbing before all this snow winds down. Temperatures in the lower 20s and upper teens. So, so far it's a very powdery snow, but we are starting to see some warmer air move in from the south. 24 right now, your temperature in Bloomington. Where that snow is coming down pretty good, it is limiting our visibility. We just saw the view there in Bloomington, giving us half mile visibility. Same in Terre Haute and Muncie, right out a mile in Indianapolis, but that will be going down as well as we see a little more in the way of some moderate snow just to the west of town. We go in for a closer view and you can see where we are seeing some of that uh, steadier snow around Martinsville toward Greencastle as we look around Shelbyville and Rushville Greenfield Greenfield excuse me anywhere we see any of those darker uh, pockets of blue coloring a little lighter around Bedford and Seymour Forest tonight and then pretty light stuff as we go around uh, Peru and Monticello and you will be on some of the lower ends of these totals as it looks like right through the heart of central Indiana again kind of hitting the snow jackpot here so let's put Truecast into motion by four o'clock in the morning you see some of that mix around Bedford and Seymour still steady snow for Indianapolis and right along Interstate 70 into eight o'clock in the morning and then we'll see this pretty quickly wind down as we get through mid to late morning hours a few more snow showers will develop as we go into the afternoon, but the bulk of our snow accumulation comes right now through early tomorrow morning, and then we'll add on maybe an inch or so as we go into Sunday afternoon, and by the time we get into Sunday evening, this system by and large is gone. So 7 a.m. tomorrow, we kind of break down the totals for you. Look for around four inches of snow on the ground, especially as we get north of Bloomington. So around Martinsville toward Franklin and areas to the north, about four inches. And then we'll add on from there coming in around five inches or so along I-70 with some spots between that five and seven inch total uh, a little bit lower as we mix in some of that rain and sleet around Bedford and Seymour. So as we plan out your Sunday, again, we'll have some areas of snow to start things off in the morning and then that tapers off to a few snow showers through the afternoon. Temperatures will climb and feel pretty good to around 33 degrees. On Monday, temperatures starting off once again in the teens. We'll make it to the low 30s as we go into the afternoon with partly sunny to most Mostly cloudy skies for us, but already another system to be aware of Monday night into Tuesday, and that one will bring freezing rain and sleet. A slick Tuesday morning commute looks to be in the cards for us. Could be heavy at times with that rain transition into the afternoon, so we'll have to watch for some flooding as the snow that's on the ground melts and we have the frozen ground in place. Here's a look at Truecast. You see all that pink in time for the Tuesday morning commute. That is not good news. Then we get into the heavy rain for Tuesday afternoon. Here's your seven-day planning forecast. And it shows once we get through that system, another shot of cold air. So even though it's a new month, looks like we're going to stay with the same old pattern. 22 the high on Wednesday, single digits Thursday morning.